Palm Sunday today. Have you ever noticed the similarity between Christmas and Palm Sunday? On Christmas Day, Jesus appears on earth, not as expected in a royal palace, but a humble human baby in a humble stable with humble parents. On Palm Sunday, Jesus appears in Jerusalem, not as expected riding a war horse with a following army, but riding on a donkey, a symbol of humility and peace. In the Christmas story, the angels sing glory to God in the highest, peace on earth to men of good will. On Palm Sunday, the crowd sing and shout, Hosanna, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. In the Christmas story, the shepherds come to worship and bow down. The wise men brought their gifts of gold, of obedience, frankincense for worship, myrrh for suffering. In the end, Herod tries to have Jesus killed. On Palm Sunday, the crowds threw down their palms. They laid down their garments before him that he might ride over them. Evil men crucify Jesus eventually. Are we, you and I, prepared to meet this Lord who comes humbly as a child laid in a manger, who comes humbly riding on a donkey? Are we prepared to meet this Lord in your life and mine? All this was prophesied long before by the prophets Isaiah and Micah when they wrote, Unto us a child is born. And by Zechariah, he shall come riding on a donkey. In these appearances, Jesus was directly fulfilling these great prophecies of Scripture that those who had eyes to see would see, and those who had faith in the promise of God might follow him. And this has got to be absolutely basic to all our preparations to meet the Lord today, that we believe the word about him, that we know him for what he himself claimed and believe in him as such, the one sent of God, the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, yet he came humbly sitting upon a colt, the foal of a donkey. I don't know anything that should put heart into us sinners quite like that. As Lord, he is judge. And as king, he most certainly comes to rule. But we don't have to go running off into a corner to hide or sit there with fear and trembling. His meekness is the invitation even to sinners to trust in him. And he's sitting upon a colt, the foal of an ass, should drive every last vestige of guilty fear out of our hearts. Obviously, he's not coming to destroy. And this is how he wants us to see him and know him, so that there will never be any reason on his part why we should not want to own him as our Lord, and why we should want another king besides him. This is his own personal laying bare of his heart to us. This is his own direct act. He is lowly, so lowly that not a person here or anywhere can say, he does not come for me. He is meek, so meek that he wipes away all tears from our eyes, and his touch can do nothing but heal our sin-bruised souls. At this time of lockdown and coronavirus pandemic, he comes, not as a judge, 
and to punish, but to save. Let us trust him who said, and love one another as I have loved you, and do as he has commanded us. Let us love one another. Let us pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, help us to trust you throughout this lockdown and pandemic. You who came into this world as one of us, to save us through your wonderful love and mercy. Amen. May grace, mercy and peace be yours today. Amen.